Hello and welcome to the Bearski Film Review. Please click subscribe to help support the channel and get all of our content. Today we're going to talk about the week six matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders or football team or whatever they want to call themselves. We're going to focus on the offensive drives and talk about some key plays in the game, both good and bad. On the first drive, Bears wind up in a second and 19, and in order to make it a manageable third down, they try and throw it to Mooney. He's admitted in the past recently that he's been off on some of his routes, but this early in the game, this stuff should not happen. And whether this is on Fields or this is on Mooney, I think Fields thought he was going to cut outside, but Mooney cut inside instead. It is an incomplete pass. Then, on 3rd and 19, Fields is looking to make a big play here, but there's not enough time and he winds up sacked. The next drive ends in an interception in the red zone. In my week 4 video against the Giants, I mentioned how some of Fields' passes were getting tipped. In this scenario, he hits a defender in the helmet. Sometimes these things happen. It's unfortunate. On the next drive, Herbert breaks out for a 60-plus yard run, and the Bears are back in the red zone. This looks very Green Bay-like. I've seen Aaron Rodgers run plays that look like this. It's a great design by Getze. But Fields just has to lob this ball, and he doesn't. He kind of throws it towards the corner of the end zone. In my opinion, there's really no excuse for this, but Fields is in year two. Hopefully, this is a huge learning lesson for him. Next drive ends in a punt, but there's a huge opportunity to keep this drive going on third down. Watch these two linebackers. Fields needs to notice that they both creep up. You have a wide open number 18 Pettis running in the middle of the field here. No defenders around him. This would have been an easy first down. Here on third down, there was pretty tight coverage. Fields could have tried to throw the underneath route and hit Komet, but the linebacker was closing in on him pretty quick. Instead, he tries to hit Mooney on this one and incomplete pass. In the second half, the first drive is a great drive by Fields. Play action, play to a wide open Mooney. Then they run a handoff to St. Brown, and after that play in the broadcast, they did a terrible job at showing the Pettis touchdown. I was at the game and got to see it live, but I was so shocked when I was re-watching the broadcast of what everybody else saw. So, here's what actually happened. The Bears once again caught a team substituting and got a free play because of a 12-man on the field penalty. They did this to Green Bay, however that flag was missed, and they also did this to Houston. Fields has to take a hit here to get this ball off, but as a quarterback, there are some hits you're going to have to take. That's why you should avoid the ones that you don't have to take, but Fields shows his toughness right here. Next drive, on third and one, the left tackle just gives up his block. He's a rookie. He's not perfect. Uh, maybe you could have tried to dump the ball off, but there's not much you can do on this play here.
The Bears then find themselves in a 4th and 16. Fields throws to Smith Marset. This is the same wide receiver who had the ball ripped out of his hands last week at the end of the game. He was just signed last week from the Vikings practice squad, so you can't have high expectations for a guy you just signed last week. Still, he remained like this in the middle of the field for a good 20 seconds. The NFL doesn't offer you many opportunities. That's why you're going to have to make the most of the ones you get, and unfortunately, he's had, uh, he's had some bad ones recently. Then, after Fields makes an amazing run to get the team in the red zone again, on third down, there was an obvious pass interference that was missed by the referees, but still, the receiver had the ball in his hands and just couldn't come down with it. And then, Mooney, unfortunately, on fourth down, is just playing played out of position. He's a good receiver, but he's just not a number one. He knows it. He said it himself after the game. If the Bears do get a number one wide receiver, though, Mooney will thrive as a second or a slot wide receiver. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, and there will definitely be more to come. Bear down.